814 happening today. It is day two of the Porter Peach Festival. We've been bringing you live coverage from Porter all week. Joining us live now are Miss Peach Bud, the People's Choice winner, Miss Peach Blossom, Miss Peach, and the co-director of the Porter Peach Pageant, Tanya Springstead. Thank you all so much for being with us early this morning. How exciting is this? Very, very exciting. They're all saying it's very exciting. This is the 57th <laughs> year of the Porter Peach Festival. How big of a deal is the pageant? Big deal. The girls are saying it's a really big deal. The pageant's been uh, part of the festival for as far as the festival's been going, I, I believe, which that started in 1967. Um, and the girls, it, it helps them earn like scholarships, you know, as they're about to graduate and go on to college. And then it also gives them opportunity to work within our community and um, see what it's like to volunteer and serve. Let's talk a little bit about that. They all look beautiful. They're wearing the tiaras, they have the sashes, but they will be working today and tomorrow. What what role are they in or what do they do out at the festival? Well, let me tell you, they actually started working last weekend, peeling peaches and slicing them for our um, uh, homemade, you know, uh, peach and custard that we have uh, that's free on Saturday. We give that away as a thank you to our um, participants of the festival. Um, it'll be this Saturday at 1.30 and that's held within the fire department. So, so the girls work their little bodies <laughs> very hard trying to get all those peaches ready. I think it was uh, 23 bushels or more that we had to prepare for that. And then uh, they uh, have worked in our customer service booth as part of the Lions Club. Um, and then they volunteered, um, let's see, well, some performed last night in our talent show, and then they will be serving uh, a breakfast that we have at the fire department at six o'clock Saturday morning. And they are gonna be busy right after that will be the parade and they'll be in that. And then um, they will be helping serve that custard and peaches at 1.30. Yeah, so tomorrow a long day with an early start. A long history in Porter. What does the festival mean to the town of Porter? Uh, yeah, do you girls want to say? They're saying it, it means a lot, but it really does. It uh, brings a lot of uh, financial support to our town. Um, the orchard and the peach barn have been extremely busy uh, leading up into this um, festival. And thankfully, uh, we have peaches this year after a couple of bad weather years, the last uh, few years and then COVID. So um, we're just really excited. Last night was a great first night, uh, probably busier than I've seen in several years. So we're really excited about what all is going to be happening over the next couple of days. Yeah, really fun couple of days ahead. Tanya, thank you so much. And Peach Royalty, thank you all so much for joining us. We've got a map and schedule of events on fox23.com, but it's going to be packed today and tomorrow.